Hey everybody, how's it going? Genizod here. I'm making this video today to talk about two characters that a lot of people are asking about. The first is Dragon King Sharoon, the new ML5. A lot of people are wondering, is it actually worth pitting this character? The second character I want to talk about is Specimen Says. He recently got a change where now he has 50% evasion. So a lot of people are wondering, well, does this make him viable? I built my Specimen Says like this. I basically just tried to give him as much damage as I could while giving him a bit of survivability. He now has 70% evasion. I'm using something like Moonlight Dream Blade so he can possibly give himself attack buff. If you think about a character like Aiden that normally has way less tankiness, how hard she is to kill, well he should be pretty difficult to get rid of as well. As for Dragon King Sharoon, I essentially wanted to build her kind of like a Death Dealer Ray build, where I go fast, some bulk, but really high effectiveness, and this artifact gives even more effectiveness, also possibly comboing with her S1. This gives a CR push whenever you do an attack, so her S3 is going to work with that, and her S1. So even though Spez only got a 50% evasion boost, she has some pretty interesting things. Her S3 has a 100% chance to defense break or decreased attack, which is really good. We're mainly looking at being able to decrease defense of Knights and Soul Weaver. Her S2 is really good versus any stun and sleep, so a character like Arrowwell especially changed, uh, Spectre Tenebria, Death Dealer Ray, those kind of characters it's really strong against, it gives a nice buff. Her S1 is also really good, 40% chance to stun is really high, and when you stun, 20% boost to an ally, and can be burned for 100% chance to stun, and along with her artifact, makes it so that she's able to push an ally 30%, which is a lot. So how are these characters? Are they actually good in the game right now or meta or do they fall flat? Let's find out. So we're trying to cleave a Judge Kisei. They're trying to cleave a Judge Kisei. <laughs> Let him? I'm not gonna make it easy on him. No free handouts. A true knight picks their battles wisely. I'm gonna pick Spence. I have an idea here. Okay, I mean, like, that's a cringe unit. We all know that, but that's fine. We're gonna pick Belion because she's pretty cringe too. You see, in a cleave versus anti cleave, both teams need to pick as many cringy, unfun, frustrating units as possible. And that's how you win. We need some form of cleanse. If we don't have some form of cleanse, we're just gonna die. Emo Shroon doesn't do much here. Okay, well, they're just saying that they're gonna ban Belion. This person is telling me that they're banning Belion. But isn't that fine? We picked the lad. Yeah, sure. You know what? I don't care. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna ban Ludwig. All right, I have a 90% chance to dodge. Let's go. Oh yeah, I also have barrier set, but it's useless because I have air wall anyways. All right, let's see how many times he misses or if he hits all the attacks. Let's see what happens. Come on. Miss? No, oh, okay, he hit. I have no more mitigation. Kind of sucks, honestly. All right, what's going to happen here? Okay, he missed designer Lulabet. Wait, why did he hit him? That kind of sucks. But I don't think we're really worried. Spez cannot die. Even if he gets hit, he won't die. How many people is this going to hit? Oh, we proc'd a Crescent, but it didn't do anything. Okay, so we're just gonna cleanse and push the team. I'm feeling pretty safe right now. Like, there's no danger at all, honestly. Um, how much damage does this do? This is a damage test. It just doesn't. Bro, you're not hitting- he's 10% chance to hit him, bro. <laughs> he's actually unkillable. He's so tanky. He's so tanky. Oh my god. Okay, then we're gonna do almost no damage, but this kills. Oh wait, we actually hit. Oh yeah, big nuke, 2,000 damage. <laughs> you know what's funny? Even if he killed the rest of my team, I think Spez's S3 with lifesteal that I have on him would have healed so much that he would never have killed me. Like, I think I would have just continually been healing and he never would have been able to kill me, basically. Dude, he actually was just unkillable. And shouldn't I pick like a cleanser? No, she resets. You can't reset me if you can't hit me. You're unable to reset me if you can't hit me. I'm invisible. <laughs> okay, let's hope my 300 Efrez is enough. Hello? Oh no. The bane of evasion is pure damage. We're banning that. You banned Elvira? All right, this is easy. It's free. Check this out. No danger. He's like, uh, do I just S2? He's soul burning. Oh, damn. Is he going to do it? Okay, you missed everyone because I have a 90% chance to dodge. So it's pretty unlikely that you hit me. So we're going to lose some evasion, but we're still going to have 40 evasion. Even after this, does this miss? It missed. 
I think we're chilling. I mean, this kind of sucks being silenced. I just realized Fat Cat stuns. <laughs> He's just like, bro. I mean, what? He expects to counter off a of one hit? Come on. <laughs> Missed all three. <laughs> Wait, doesn't Fat Cat just stun and then he has threes and it's over? Like, isn't the match over? This is like Giga OP team. This is like the most broken team I've ever used. Garfield goes in for the stun. And defense break. And then we just do this. Wait, this team's broken. How do you deal with the Spez? He's invincible. <laughs> oh, I... I am going to pick Spez and Sharoon. Finally, somebody took this stupid unit away from me, so I don't pick him like an idiot. Thank God. Are you guys noticing everyone picks this unit now? What's going on here? All right. Okay, last piece, Karin. No way, Ray versus Death Dealer Ray? I don't believe it. Oh, I'm a little disappointed, honestly. I don't know about this one, man. Are they gonna ban Sharoon? No, they banned Hua Young. I'm a little surprised. Let's see what happens. You know, I'm really curious. Do you think that they have enough Ephras on her? Also, wait, even if they have enough for, enough Ephras, my Sharoon takes a turn after. Wait, let's see what happens. Is this guy dead? Double soul consolation? Okay, he's enough, Efrez. If I land a stun here, I think I win. Be gone, you insect. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you see, here's the thing about Hua Young, guys. People want a character that kills everything in the whole game. Anything less than that is a bad character. Not a joke. That is literally what people want. Well, uh, I think Spez is gonna disappear real fast here. If this was my really tanky Spez, he might survive, but I don't think my Spez is gonna live through this. Really don't see it. Wait. He's still kind of tanky. Hold up. Huh. You know, I don't feel like I'm in too much danger here, honestly. I think I'm okay. Yeah, and this doesn't matter. We don't care about this. Wait, it actually hit him. That's kind of lame. So we have 230 effectiveness. Like, surely this is enough with the little flute. Give him the flute. Wait, she said a line against Moon Bunny. Hold up. She said something about a bunny. Okay, let me do 32,000 damage. Um, I'm gonna stun this. Dude, Shrew's kind of popping off right now. Am I crazy? We're just gonna take out Zahawk. Both thousand. Damn, this is just over. We even stripped the Alvarez buff. <laughs> it's just like... Oh, wait, maybe she didn't use it, actually. Oh yeah, she didn't even use it. Is this guy really about to stall me out? Bro, are we really doing this? <laughs> Why are we doing this? Dude, the candlestick thing doesn't work anymore, man. <laughs> I stunned her anyways. Wait, he can't do it. I have nine health. Yeah, okay, we got him. First pick Moon Bunny, and they ban like that, huh? I really, really, really want to see another person try to cleave me. The last person who tried to cleave, it was so funny. Bro, freest Sharoon game in history, or am I crazy? Uh, this might be the wrong play. Let's see what happens. Edward. But it doesn't really matter. Do I care about Edward? What are we doing here? Do we just do this? And then we ban this. Oh, man, they really banned my tank, huh? Well, let's do it. He's not gonna S3, right? Right? Yeah, S2. This is gonna hurt. So 10,000 health. Yeah, this is gonna hit really hard. But we live, right? No mitigation, but we live? And we'll clear tanky? Oh, yeah, that, we're chilling. Maybe this is the worst idea ever. But... I want to believe in my units. I trust them. I trust my team. Check this out. No big deal. We play the flute. You know, give a little flute music. 
We take a bunch of damage here. Ow. I have a feeling that this won't kill. And so I'm going to S2. Oh, wait, that 100% would have killed. Holy crap, that did so much damage. All right. We're going to take this out. This pushes Spez up. We're just going to do that real quick. And we're just going to S3 for style points, basically. Let's see how much damage this does. No mitigation with attack buff. Defense break doesn't matter, but... uh. 69,000 damage. Okay. So, she doesn't have her passive up for one more turn. Oh, she's asleep. Oh, but she wakes up. Oh, okay. Whoops. Bruh. Um, a little bit of a mistake there. But you know what? That doesn't even matter, right? Look, 100% kill no matter what. They literally can't survive. Oh, they died from that even. Dude, literally free game. So, after using Dragon King Sharoon and Specimen Says a bunch recently, I have a lot of things to say about the two. So, my Dragon King Sharoon build, I think this is actually a good way to go about their build. Um, so, the big thing is, her skill 3 is insanely good, and her skill 1 is also insanely good. The problem is, a lot of the time, her skill 2 is not going to do anything. This only works if you're actually against stuns and sleeps, which there's not a whole lot in the game overall. And even when you draft her against those, sometimes they can use them in ways where they're not going to stun or sleep you, and then sometimes this will never activate, which really sucks. So, basically, Basically, she sucks versus most debuffers. Even if she gets rid of stun or sleep, you can still be blinded or silenced, provoked. There's so many debuffs that can happen. And this really hurts her usability a lot. So she ends up being better as a debuffer than a cleanser, really. And I think we really need more cleansers, but essentially, if you use her mainly for this ability and this ability, she actually becomes a really good debuffer that makes it so that your team can't be stunned or slept, so you're always actually getting turns. And while I think that that's good, at the same time, it makes her a little more niche. I would say, as a whole, Dragon King Shroom does not seem like the type of character that you actually want to pity. I think pulling for her seems fine, and if you really like the character, go ahead. I think she has potential, and she's an overall pretty solid character in a lot of ways. But I don't know if I'd really pull 200 times and then pity this character, unless you really want them. While I think they're nice to have, those characters that are just insanely powerful, you know, like, let's say, Zeo, Emma, Land, Emma, Yuffie, those kinds of characters that are way better to actually, like, go all in in for. But I think she's pretty good overall. I've been using her a surprising amount, just kind of throwing her into matches, seeing what happens, and it's actually been succeeding an all right amount. But I've been comboing her with Spez a lot, so let's talk about him next. I initially said this buff looks like crap, and the biggest problem with Specimen says is the fact that he's not ever able to really get the turn after somebody gets stunned, or he has a difficult time stunning and then actually using his S3, so that the buff doesn't really help that much because it's more survivability, so it's not worth it. I was wrong, I would say. Um, I think that the 50% evasion makes it so that he's essentially so tanky, unless he actually gets hit, um, where you don't need too much survivability, so you get to just put all of that into damage. So his skill 3 is actually hitting really hard, even on non-stunned targets. That said, it's not insane damage on unstunned targets, so if I pair him with Shroon, um, he'll be able to one-shot people who are defense broken, which is great, or stunned, which is awesome. But essentially, he's just a constant threat there, and he's a safe character because he's not really able to get killed too easily. It's essentially a way tankier version of Aiden, but doesn't have the counterattack. So you're trading some different stuff right there. He is really bad, however, against a character like Lua, because when he's reset and he doesn't have a skill 3 available, well, he loses 50% evasion, so now he's a sitting duck. Also, his S1 kind of sucks, does no damage, pretty bad. His S2 is also pretty low damage overall, but it has the chance to stun, which is kind of nice. I've seen some people build Specimen says full damage, where they have like over 4,500 attack and basically like 350 crit damage, and they just nuke you instantly, but that requires insane gear and certain setups which make it really difficult. I would say as a whole, he seems like a pretty decent character. I don't think I would say he's like amazing, and I think he has some difficulty in certain teams. Obviously, there's a problem when the opponent has immunity all the time because then you're not able to land any debuffs, which kind of sucks, but I think he has some real viability in the game. I didn't see the fact that it's not just about stunning someone and then the S3, it's also just the fact that you get to take so much out of survivability and put into the damage Damage, so he's actually able to do stuff even when the opponent's not stunned. Is he better than Aiden? Probably not. And I think having a combo of someone like Specimen Says with characters that stun such as Emil Shroon or future stunning characters in the game means that he has some actual viability overall. All you really have to do is max his S3 and the rest is kind of a bonus. All in all, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised by Specimen Says. So 
in the end, I think Specimen Says is okay, and I think that Dragon King Sharon here is a pretty decent character. I also really like how smug she is in this face, which is pretty awesome. That's a big plus. So that's about it for me right here. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you next time.